Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the iJoy Logo Matte Finish Bluetooth Headphones. So these Bluetooth headphones are packed with features such as an FM transmitter so you can pick up FM radio. They have a slot for a micro SD memory card so you can listen to music directly from that card. And they also have a built-in equalizer so that you can change the way the music sounds based on your preference. All that for only $15 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. All right, so they come in a nice cardboard box. I like that because you can recycle it. Pull the headphones out right here. So as you can see, the headphones do fold up. That's going to make it great for storing in a backpack or anything like that. Looks like we have some instructions for how to use them. In the box, we also have a headphone cable, which is an auxiliary cable. So if the battery dies on the headphones, you can simply just plug one in into the source of the music, such as your computer or cell phone, and the other one into the headphones and continue to listen. So even if the battery dies, you could still listen to music with these headphones. It's pretty cool. And then we have a micro USB charging cable for the headphones. And that's all that's in the box. All right, so let's take a closer look at the actual headphones here. So as you can see, they do fold down to a pretty small size, and then you just pull the headphones out to the side like that, and then they're open up and ready to wear on your head. Now they are advertised as having a matted finish, and I can definitely feel that. The entire outside of the headphones feels like it has a rubber texture on top of it. Even the buttons, everything feels very soft and Really nice to touch, actually. I also like the look of this device. They do sell it in several different colors. I think around 10 different colors, all for the same price. So that's very cool. You can get the color that you'd like. And then as you can see, the earmuffs do move a little bit. So I think that that is to try to help the earmuffs kind of form to your head so that they don't apply too much pressure and have any discomfort or pain or anything after you've been wearing them for a long time. My first impressions of the feeling of these headphones is that they are pretty cheap feeling. They're very light. The plastic is a little bit loose, as you can see right here on the joint and they just kind of feel very cheap which is kind of what you would expect from a $15 pair of headphones. The cushion right here on the earmuffs is also cheap feeling. This leather is not as soft as I felt on headphones that are around $20 to $25 price range and also on the headband this is a very small amount of cushioning compared to headphones just a little bit more in cost. So all the controls are located on the right earmuff. On the left earmuff all you have is this logo right here for iJoy but on the right earmuff we have all of the controls as well as the charging ports and SD card slot. So on the outside of the earmuff are all the controls. As you can see we have a pause and play and then we have some directional buttons. These are going to be your volume control and track control. Right here on the bottom right is the equalizer button. So this is what you would press to cycle through the different equalizer profiles and find the one that's best for you. And then this M right here is a mode button. So this is where you'll change it from Bluetooth mode or FM transmitter mode. This little dot right here in the center is going to be the LED indicator light that's going to tell you if it's in pairing mode, if the device is on, if it's charging, and then under that we have the microphone, and we'll test out the microphone. As you can see on the side of the earmuff right here, this is a little slot for a micro SD card. So you can get one of those, put a bunch of songs on it, and then you wouldn't have to connect this device to anything. It would just play from the actual SD card. It's very cool. And then right here we have the charging port, which is micro SD. And then it looks like on this side we have the actual power switch. So it's just like a normal power switch. You slide it right to turn it on and left to turn it off. On the bottom here of the right earmuff, we have the auxiliary port. And this is what I was talking about with the headphone cable, where if the battery dies, you can simply just plug it into whatever device you're listening to music from, and you'll hear the audio through the headphones. So one more thing about the headphones, they are a little bit flexible. As you can see, I can bend them a little bit. So if you have these in a backpack or something like that, I think they're a little bit durable because they can bend. Now that we've taken a look at the iJoy Logo Bluetooth headphones, let's go ahead and get them turned on and then paired to my phone. So I'm gonna turn them on by just changing this switch over to the right side. As we can see, the blue light turns on and the headphones say power on. Now they're blinking red and blue and that means they're in pairing mode. They come up on my phone as iJoy logo and we're connected. As you can see, they came with 60% battery life. One more thing I want to point out about the iJoy logos is that they're also adjustable on both sides. So as you can see here, the headband can be pulled out on both sides so that it will fit if you have a bigger head or hair or if you're wearing a hat or something like that. So as you can see, I'm wearing the iJoy logo. Currently, all the audio you're hearing is coming from the mic, so you have a good idea of what it sounds like if you're going to be placing calls with these headphones. You also get a good chance to see what they look like on my head. 
All right, so after having had a chance to use the iJoy Logo headphones, I have to say these are probably the worst headphones I've ever tested. In my opinion, if you're looking for a pair of headphones and you are on a budget, you can find way better headphones for maybe $5 more in the $20 price range rather than getting these for $15. You will not have an enjoyable listening experience, in my opinion, if you use these headphones. There is a very good chance that you will not be satisfied if you buy these headphones. Let's start off with the many negatives that I found. They are not very comfortable at all. The earmuffs, while this does fit all the way around your ear, so it's not gonna be applying any pressure to your ear, they're not very cushioning. It's, it, they seem like they have a lot of cushion, but it just does not feel comfortable on your head. Also, the headband does not have very much cushioning as well. I just didn't find them to be that comfortable. I also found that it was very hard to adjust them. They seem to get kind of stuck when you're adjusting it, and it can be kind of a pain to actually change the size of the headphones. Now, as you just saw in the microphone test, the microphone barely works. I don't think you could actually place calls with these headphones because your voice is picked up with a, such a low volume and it sounds like you're talking through a pipe. I don't think people would be able to understand you. I also had issues connecting these to my computer via, via Bluetooth. Anytime I tried to connect them to my recording software, it would freeze my computer, which is very strange. So I ended up having to record via the cable rather than through Bluetooth. Another issue that I found that I think is actually pretty dangerous is Normally with headphones, you have these little warning tones or messages that are played when the device is turned on, when it's connected to Bluetooth. Well, the warning tones coming from these headphones are extremely loud. It's almost as if they're at full volume and it did hurt my ears whenever it said paired or connected to Bluetooth or turning on. And I think you may want to be careful if you're getting these for people, maybe kids, anybody, because those tones are so loud that it could probably cause ear damage. So let's talk about the audio quality. It's not really that bad. You can have an enjoyable listening experience. The equalizer here does seem to change the audio sound, but in my opinion, it doesn't make it sound any better, and you have no idea which profile you're on. You kind of just click it and then hope that it sounds better the next time. I also have no idea how many different profiles they have, so I was pretty disappointed in that. Overall, for $15, I would not recommend the iJoy Logo headphones. Really, the only good thing I can say about these headphones is that they are only $15, but like I said, I think you'd be better off spending a little bit more money getting a little bit higher quality headphones. Now, things such as the SD card and the auxiliary in, those things work as you would expect. No issues there. The FM radio works as you would expect as well. You turn it on and then you can kind of cycle through. I didn't find that the reception was that great, so I didn't really use it that much, but it does work. So those are some positives here, but overall, many negatives for the iJoy logos. If you have any questions about the iJoy logo Bluetooth headphones, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.